please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos Thank hello everyone once again and welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for watching more update videos hello guys so in this example i'm going to teach you guys about method of joints it's one of the methods we can use for solving truss problem statics so in this example we have five joints one two three four five and we have a seven members one two three four five six seven so before we solve this problem we have to find out that our truss is determinant or indeterminant so we have a we have a formula for that to find out that our truss is determinant or not so that the formula is 2j is equal to m plus r so which means 2 times j mean j is the joints number of joints how many joints we have so 2 times we have 5 joints 5 is equal to members how many members we have 1 7 members plus reaction how many reaction we have r is the r means reaction so we have 3 reaction so 2 times 5 10 is equal 10 so that means our truss is statically determinant. So now I'm going to calculate the reactions of this truss. As step 1, take summation of Fx, which is equal to 0. Do we have any forces acting at the horizontal direction? We have only HA. We don't have any forces, so there mean our, therefore our HA is equal to 0. Second step, we take summation of Fy which is equal to zero so we have VA plus VE is equal to 1000 Newton so the third step you have to take a moment at point A or at point E so we're taking a moment at point A summation of moment at point A which is equal to zero the distance is one meter this is a one meter as well. So VE times two is equal to one thousand times one. The distance is one meter. One thousand times one meter. Because it is equal because the VE is acting opposite of 1000 kilonewton so 2 ve is equal to 1000 both sides divided by 2 so our ve will be equal to 500 newton and our va will be equal to also 500 newton so this is our reactions now the next step i'm going to find the members if our member is positive then it will be a tension if our member is a negative then it will be a compression so now so first i'm going to solve the members at joint a so before i calculate joint a let me tell you important thing this is a method you should use is very easy and simple so if s a s t c a mean all s assigned to the tangent and courses uh, c the cosine so which means if our members in this area so it means our sine cosine and tangent is positive but if our members be an, in that direction, which means in this direction only sine is a positive. In that direction only tangent is a positive. In that direction only cosine is a positive. Sine and tangent is negative in that direction. So we know our joint is in, in this direction. Therefore our sine and cosine is a positive. So we have a force of 500 Newton. So the first step, I'm going to 
take summation of fx. So, summation of fx is equal to 0. So, I have AC acting towards horizontal direction plus, in the angle is 60 degrees, AB cosine of 60 degrees. Do you have another force acting towards horizontal direction? No. So, it's equal to 0. So, a second step, I'm going to take summation of Fy, which is equal to 0. So, I have a 500 plus AB sine of 60 degrees is equal to 0. Why I took an fx cosine of 60? Because the cosine is acting horizontal direction and the sine is acting at the y direction. So now I'm going to calculate the value for AB and the value for AC. <coughs> the first step is, let me calculate the value of AB. So my AB will be equal to, I put 500 goes to that side, so minus 500 divided by sine of 60 degrees. It will be equal to, so 500 divided by sine of 60, sine of 60, will be equal to minus 577.35 Newton. That's our AB. Now, we put that in here, we can find our value for AC. So this will be as minus so as compression. So the next step, so we have AC plus instead of AB, put this value now, minus 5717.35 cos of 60, which is equal to 0. So our AC will be equal to positive 5717.35 cos 60 degrees. So our AC will be equal to 5717.35 cosine of 60 degrees is equal to 288.68 Newton. It is a tension because positive. Ten tension. So now we have found the value of member AB. We know the tension, and we have found the value of AC as a minus. Therefore, it is compression. So the next step, I'm going to I'm going to solve at joint B now. So now I'm going to solve the members at joint B. So first step, I'm going to take a summation of Fx, which is equal to zero. So BD, acting at horizontal direction, minus AB, cosine of 60 degrees, plus BC, cosine of 60 degrees, which is equal to 0. Why I took minus AB here and positive PZ here? Because, as I mentioned earlier, if you see here, in this, in that direction, all the members in this direction, everything is positive. In that direction, only sine is positive, but in this direction, only cosine is positive. But look, if you see our AB, it's in this direction. So in this direction, sine and cosine is negative. That's why my sine is my cosine is negative, but my BC is going in this direction. If you can see, I took it positive, so my BC will be positive here. The next step, summation of Fy, which will be equal to 0. So, minus BC sine of 60 degrees minus AC sine of 60 degrees, which is equal to 0. Yes. So now, I know the value of AC, so I'm going to calculate my 
the value of BC first. So the BC will be equal to minus AC sine of 60 degrees over sine of 60 degrees. So the sum will cancel this. So my BC will be equal minus AC. But I know my value of AC. So my BC now will be equal to, so my value of AC is minus, so minus, minus 5, say 1.35 one, say one Newton. So minus and minus is positive now. So my BC is equal 500, say 1.35 one, say one Newton. So this is the value of BC. So now I'm going to find the value of BD now. So it's that tension. So my BD will be equal to, so my BD, BD minus, instead of AB put the value, so I have minus AB it's minus 5, say 1, say 1.35. Cosine of 60 degrees plus my BC is positive, so 5, say 1, say 1.35. Cosine of 60 degrees, which is equal to 0. So my BC, my BD, so minus minus will cancel each other. So 5, say 1, say 1.35. Cosine of 60 degrees is equal to, and times it by 2, which is 5, say 1, say 1 point, 35 Newton. So this is the value of BD. It's also tension. So next step, I'm going to solve the problems at joint C.